Orange Marmalade begins by showing a girl named Bak Mari who dreams about her gloomy childhood, when all her friends turn away from her, a vampire. Although humans and vampires have coexisted since 300 years ago, vampires are still discriminated against and considered a danger to most of humanity worldwide. Mari, who was still in elementary school, was always considered a monster by her friends because she was a vampire. Mari, who dreamed of the bullying her schoolmates had done to her, suddenly screamed and shocked everyone around her. <laughs> she immediately becomes the center of attention of those in the same carriage as her, including a young man named Yoon Ja Min, who realizes that Mari is from the same school as him. A man sitting next to Mari had just sexually assaulted a woman sitting next to him. Hearing Mari's scream, the man suddenly felt shocked and took his hand away from the woman's smooth thigh. Since everyone was looking at Mari, who was sitting next to him, the man misunderstood and thought everyone was looking at him. The man immediately evades by saying that he didn't do anything to Mari. But apparently, the woman sitting next to him then spoke up and revealed the man's abuse to her. The two of them had an argument and the man accidentally dropped his milk box. When Mari was about to get the milk box, someone accidentally stepped on it and she was surprised because the box didn't contain milk but blood. The blood splattered everywhere, including on Mari's face. Everyone was then shocked and panicked because the man turned out to be a vampire. When the train stopped at the station, the man rushed out of the carriage and disappeared somewhere. Jamin then approaches Mari, who still looks shocked by the incident. He tries to help her, but Mari reacts by smelling blood and accidentally puts her mouth on Jamin's neck as if to bite him. However, Mari immediately wakes up and rushes out of there before she can no longer control her hunger for human blood. Mari finally arrives at school, where she becomes a transfer student in Jamin's class. Mari's classmates, who are watching a viral video about the appearance of a vampire on the train, look shocked when they find out that Mari was there. They then surrounded Mari and asked about it. They argue about humans and vampires living side by side. <laughs> After that, their teacher, a man named Yoon Ja, explained the history of vampires and humans and the peace treaty between them 300 years ago. Even though humans can now coexist with vampires, many students dislike having vampires. This is because they are afraid of vampires, which they consider monsters. Yoon Ja then explains that humans don't need to be afraid of vampires because they have a pact and will not prey on or harm humans. However, Ja Min, who apparently doesn't like the presence of vampires around him, doesn't care about the teacher's words because he really hates vampires. During recess, the students were still discussing the existence of vampires. Mari, having lunch in the cafeteria, tries to hide her identity as a vampire by eating garlic so her friends don't suspect her. But of course, that only makes her nauseous and Mari throws up in the toilet. The scene then switches and shows Mari's father, Bak Soong Hoon, making a drink from animal blood. Because it is forbidden to suck human blood, the vampires use animal blood instead. Turning back to Mari, she seems to be going home from school by riding the train. When Mari falls asleep on the train, she suddenly smells a very sweet scent nearby. She then approached it and subconsciously licked the neck of the person next to her. Mari then wakes up and is very surprised to find out that the person beside her is Ja Min. She panicked and was embarrassed, then rushed away from there and accidentally dropped her music book. Ja Min, who saw Mari's book fell, then picked it up and put it away. That night when he gets home, Ja Min takes Mari's music book and tries to play some of the songs on the guitar his mother gave him. The next day, Ja Min then asks Mari about what happened yesterday. But she doesn't remember what happened. She doesn't even remember Ja Min, who is her classmate. As Ja Min approaches her, Mari sniffs the sweet scent again and finally remembers the embarrassing moment she licked Ja Min's neck. Because Mari already remembers it, Ja Min then returns her music book and tells her to apologize to him. The scene then switches and shows Yoon Ja meeting Ja Min's mother, Min Ha, to tell her about Ja Min's progress at school. Min Ha looks happy to see her son, even if not in person. She is reluctant to meet Ja Min in person because he is still annoyed with his mother when she decides to marry Yoon Ja, who is none other than a vampire and Ja Min's teacher. Yoon Ja, now Ja Min's stepfather, then asks Ja Min to meet him at a cafe. There, Yoon Ja suggests that Ja Min focuses on pursuing his dream of becoming a musician. 
However, Ja Min seems to ignore Yoon Ja's words because he never accepted Yoon Ja's marriage to his mother. When he was about to leave, Ja Min accidentally saw Mari singing in the cafe while playing the piano. Immediately, he was stunned by Mari's very melodious voice when singing. <laughs> The next day at school, Ja Min then approaches Mari and invites her to form a music band at school. However, Mari immediately refuses Ja Min's invitation because she doesn't want to interact with humans too often. Elsewhere, Yoon Ja visits the residence of his nephew, Chi Hu, who gets a warning from the Vampire Society because he has been proven wrong. Yoon Ja then asks Chi Hu to move and attend the high school where he teaches. Knowing that Ja Min has a great interest in music, Yoon Ja then took the initiative to create a school band. He then asks a student named Jo Ara to persuade Mari to join the school band. However, Ara, who doesn't like Mari because she managed to attract Ja Min's attention, then pranks Mari by dismantling her locker and instead assumes that Mari is a vampire after finding bottled drinks commonly consumed by vampires. Ara then changes Mari's locker key so she can't open her locker. On the other hand, Mari, who is starting to run out of energy, rushes to her locker to get a drink bottle containing animal blood that she always drinks. However, Mari can't open the locker, so she can't drink the blood she needs. Mari, who felt weak because she was starting to run out of energy, then met with Ja Min and smelled the scent of his blood which was so fragrant and sweet. Mari, who felt that her body was starting to feel weak, almost bit Ja Min's neck to suck his blood. But she immediately regained her senses and hurried away from there. Mari, starting to run out of energy, finally collapses unconscious. On the other hand, Shi Hu, who had just arrived at school, rushes to take the unconscious Mari to the infirmary. Shi Hu, who turns out to be Mari's childhood friend, then gives her a drink containing animal blood so she can drink it. After her body recovers, Mari returns to school. However, she was forced to serve a sentence for not wearing sports clothes because her locker could not be opened. But then, Ara innocently tells the teacher that she can open the locker. So Mari gets scolded by the teacher and is told to run around the field as punishment. It didn't stop there. Ara accuses Mari of being the one who bullied her so that Mari was often ostracized by her friends. However, Ja Min and Shi Hu then defend Mari in front of their classmates, which irritates Ara. Shi Hu and Ja Min had already known each other since they met when they were kids. At that time, Shi Hu met Ja Min, who was playing guitar alone, and he then told Shi Hu that he really hated vampires after his mother married a vampire. Turning to the present, Shi Hu, who now lives at Mari's house, warns Mari to be careful with Ja Min because he hates vampires. One night, Mari's younger brother, Joseph, takes Shi Hu for a walk in the park. However, not long after, Joseph disappeared somewhere, so Shi Hu contacted Mari to look for her brother's whereabouts. Ja Min, who accidentally met Mari, then found out that she was looking for her brother, so he decided to help her. Ja Min finally runs into Joseph, hiding in the children's playground. Attracted by the sweet scent of Ja Min's blood, Joseph couldn't help but want to bite Ja Min's neck. However, Mari finally got there on time, pulled Joseph from Ja Min's arms, and carried him away. The next day at school, Mari meets Yoon Ja, who tells her that he is a vampire. Knowing that there are other vampires at the school besides her and Shi Hu, Mari looks relieved and thanks Yoon Ja for helping her. Afterward, Mari meets Ja Min in the music room and thanks to him for helping her find her brother. She then apologizes to Ja Min for always ignoring him, even though he has always been nice to her. Ja Min accepts Mari's apology, and they end up being friends. He then tells her about himself. Long story short, Mari and Shi Hu finally decided to join the school band they called Orange Marmalade. Since then, they have always had regular rehearsals and were often invited to perform for an event. As time goes on, Ja Min and Mari become closer and spend a lot of time together. One day, Ja Min meets his mother but he seems indifferent to his mother and thinks of her as an ordinary teacher. After that, Ja Min meets Mari, waiting for him at the lighthouse. She then expresses her love for him, and so does Ja Min, so they are finally officially dating. 
To avoid solar radiation that can harm their bodies, the vampires use a special serum that must be injected regularly. One night, when Ja Min's mother has dinner with Yoon Ja, they discuss Shi Hu's family. Yoon Ja tells his wife that Shi Hu still couldn't control his vampire nature as a child, so he attacked a human. Because of this, Shi Hu's parents tried to save Shi Hu from accidentally revealing their identity as vampires to the public, which was a serious violation of the law. On the other hand, Shi Hu, visiting Yoon Ja's house, overhears Yoon Ja's words about his parents. Shi Hu immediately feels angry that Yoon Ja has been hiding this fact from him. However, unbeknownst to them both, Ja Min, who was about to meet his mother, turned out to be listening to all of Shi Hu and Yoon Ja's conversation and finally found out that Shi Hu was a vampire. After that, Shi Hu, who was walking alone, was stopped by Ja Min, who suddenly hit him. The two of them then get into a fierce fight, where Ja Min then asks Shi Hu to stay away from Mari because he doesn't want Mari to hang out with vampires. <laughs> The next day, Yoon Ja, who realized that Shi Hu had disappeared, then rushed to find his whereabouts while asking Mari for help to find Shi Hu. While looking for Shi Hu, Mari accidentally runs into Ja Min and asks him where Shi Hu is. She begs Ja Min to help her find Shi Hu because she's so worried about her childhood friend. While Ja Min and Mari were looking for Shi Hu, they suddenly ran into a boy who needed help. Ja Min immediately rushed to help the boy. However, after rescuing the boy, Ja Min's leg gets caught in the net and is pulled up until his body hits a hard object causing him to be injured and unconscious. Mari saw this, then tried to help Ja Min by her vampire powers. However, Shi Hu notices this from a distance and immediately comes to prevent Mari from revealing her true identity. Shi Hu then uses his vampire powers to save Ja Min and then leaves. Ja Min is covered in blood from his wounds, causing Mari to react so that she can't contain her urge to sniff Ja Min's bloodied neck. Mari almost loses control of her hunger as a vampire and is about to suck Ja Min's blood. But then, Ara suddenly comes there and sees Mari coming closer to Ja Min's neck. Seeing this, she finally really suspects Mari as a vampire. After Ja Min is rushed to the hospital for intensive care, Ara secretly unpacks Mari's bag and finds a drink package labeled tomato juice. Ara, who felt suspicious, checked the drink's contents and ensured that the red liquid was not tomato juice but blood. She finally finds out that Mari is actually a vampire. <laughs> Meanwhile, elsewhere, Mari warns Shi Hu that he will be hunted down by the Vampire Control System or VCS sooner or later for using his powers. He does realize that he has committed a violation and asks her not to make the same mistake and always take care of herself. A few days later, Ja Min, who has recovered from his injuries, tries to contact Mari. She has decided to distance herself from Ja Min because he hates vampires. Ja Min then tries to find Mari's whereabouts, but Mari is nowhere to be found. Meanwhile, Shi Hu, who had purposely not used a special serum to protect the vampires from the sun, tries to annihilate himself by being in direct sunlight. He then disappears, leaving behind the necklace his parents gave him. Elsewhere, Ara turns out to have revealed Mari's true identity as a vampire to all her friends, including Ja Min. Since then, Mari and her family have disappeared somewhere. Two weeks later, Ja Min gets a call from an unknown number, informing him that Mari is waiting for him at the lighthouse. He rushes over there and goes to Mari to demand an explanation. After finally reuniting with Ja Min, Mari reveals that she is indeed a vampire. Knowing the truth from Mari directly, Ja Min looks so shocked because he didn't think that the one he loved so much turned out to be from the vampires he hated so much. With tears in her eyes, Mari apologizes to him for hiding the fact. When Mari almost fell from the lighthouse, Ja Min then helped her, but in the end, it was Ja Min who slipped and fell into the sea. Mari is forced to use her vampire powers to save Ja Min, even though she already knows the risks. However, after Mari saves Ja Min, he doesn't even remember anything about the incident, not even knowing her. Two months after the incident, Mari was locked up by the VCS for committing a serious offense, even though she used her powers to save a human. She is then made the subject of an experiment by VCS, where VCS aims to erase the gap between vampires and humans so they can live side by side in harmony. VCS wants to show that vampires are harmless and won't hurt humans.
after that, Mari was freed to mingle with humans, so VCS could observe their experiments progress with her. Mari, who has returned home, prepares to go to school by taking the train as usual. But this time, she openly admits that she is a vampire. When finally reunited with Ja Min, who still doesn't remember anything about her, Mari tries to approach him, even though he hates vampires. Meanwhile, elsewhere, Shi Hu is seen being treated by VCS. Apparently, before Shi Hu's body was completely destroyed, VCS was able to save him and is now conducting experiments on him. At school, Mari is bullied by Ara and her schoolmates regarding her identity as a vampire. However, Mari tries to ignore the bullying she receives and remains kind to her friends. Meanwhile, Mari's father is very worried about his daughter after her identity is revealed, then goes to Mari's school to check on his daughter's condition. Mari's father was shocked when he found out that his daughter was being bullied. While taking cooking lessons, Mari is shunned by her classmates. Even Ara and her friends plan to prank her. However, Jamin doesn't necessarily let them bully Mari, even though he doesn't do all that because he really cares about her. Mari, who has decided to no longer hide her identity as a vampire, then openly drinks the blood from the tomato juice bottle she always carries. All the students seem to look at Mari and talk about her. Not long after, she who appears and immediately takes Mari away from there. Meanwhile, the student's parents, who know there is a vampire in the school, then urge the school to expel Mari because they think vampires are dangerous creatures. But then, Ja Min, a model student and popular at school, meets the parents to make sure that vampires are not dangerous creatures and can coexist with humans. As time goes on, Ja Min and Mari become closer, even though Ja Min has no memory of him ever dating Mari. Meanwhile, Ja Min's mother offers Mari's parents to run her restaurant, and they agree to the offer. One day, she who invites Mari to skip school, but she immediately refused. However, when Ja Min invites her to play it ruined, Mari happily follows him. Knowing that Ja Min, Mari, and she who are skipping school, Ara decides to skip school. She then meets Shi Hu, and they spend time together. After getting to know Shi Hu better, Ara decides to change and no longer bully Mari or other vampires. On the other hand, Ja Min begins to remember several incidents with Mari when she tried to bite him. Therefore, he then asked her to stay away from him. Shi Hu, who knows this, then chases Ja Min and tries to explain everything to him. Meanwhile, Mari finally decides to change schools because Ja Min asked her to stay away from him. Ja Min, who has learned all the truth from Shi Hu, then rushes after Mari to forbid her from leaving and hugs her tightly. Ja Min then tells Mari that Shi Hu revealed all the truth and explained their past relationship. One day, one of the students overhears a conversation between Shi Hu and Ja Min and finds out that Shi Hu is a vampire. The girl then told her friends, and everyone was immediately shocked when they found out that there were two vampires in their school. Ara then goes to Shi Hu and confirms that she wasn't the one who leaked his identity to their schoolmates, and Shi Hu believes her words. After that, all students and their parents again protested because there were two vampires in the school. However, Ja Min, assisted by Ara, manages to convince the parents and their friends that vampires are not dangerous. After things were calm and peaceful again, Ja Min then invited his friends to return to playing music in the band Orange Marmalade to prove that humans and vampires can coexist in harmony. Not long after, VCS decided to release Shi Hu's parents, and they are now living happily side by side with humans. The moral that can be learned from this movie is that differences should not be used as an excuse for us to be hostile to others. In fact, despite the differences, we as humans must help each other and complement each other.